Yes, in our hearts today. Hallelujah. But yes, on our lips today. Yes, in our will today. Yes, in our walk today. Yes, in our talk today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. No matter what it looks like, we still say yes. Yes, we're giving the praise today. Yes, we're giving the glory today. Yes, we're giving the honor today. Yes, we're giving the glory today. Yes, we're giving the praise today. Yes, we're giving the praise today. Yes, we're blessed today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We enter your gates today.
God in spite of technical difficulties. My God. Yes, we still God. came to bless him. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 We bless him. Hallelujah. He is still on the throne. He is still God. Yeah. Our scripture is going to come from Minister Kena. And then we're going to lift a couple of songs to the Lord today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He Hallelujah. 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 Every time.
that's the right thing. Come on, come on to like the second row if you can. Okay. Hallelujah. Hey man, how you doing? I'm good, man. Go to work. I just talk about it. Good to see you every week. Good to every, see you. Every week. Yeah. 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 Let's go to the book of Philippians. Yes, sir. We welcome each and every one of you here today. We thank God for taking control of our program today. Hallelujah. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> I do love it today. Yeah. Anybody love it today? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I said, do you love the Lord? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord.
didn't love ourselves. Yes. 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 When we weren't thinking about you, you still loved us. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, yes. you loved us. Yes. It doesn't matter what people think or say, you still love us. Yes. And you still love us. Yes, God. And we bless you for loving us. Thank you. At the end of the day, yes. at the end of the day, yes, God. you loved us. Yes. Hallelujah. We love you back. Bless you today. Hallelujah. For making the darkness light before us. <laughs> Whatever was wrong, you made it right before us. <laughs> we thank you, Lord. Today, our scripture today 
It comes from uh, Philippians, the third chapter, around the 14th verse. And I'm reading from the Amplified Version of the Bible today. It just simply says, I press. Yeah. Somebody say press. 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 Oh, come on, say it again. Press. Press. I press on toward the goal to win uh, the prize to which God in Jesus uh -huh. is calling us upward. Yes. yes. And that's all I want to read today. Uh -huh. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Father, we bless you now in your presence of being here. Give us ears and hearts to receive and accept your word. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, break up the fallow ground, break up the stony hearts, plant the seed of the word in us today. We'll give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know what's there right there to you? Well, I was actually going to start this message with a piece of a song. It says, So you think. <laughs> then you can make it through And you feel like today when we got here that it was a trying week for others. It was a very trying week for me. Yeah. Things that went on uh, may not have seemed like much to one person, but to me it was a lot. Mm -hmm. It was a lot and for it to happen one after the other was somewhat overwhelming. Can we have can we be transparent this morning? Yeah. Isn't yeah. it interesting how the things that one person goes through uh, that just about take them out might just be child's play to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the trials of life come and not only get you down, but seemingly keep you down. I yeah. got a witness yeah. today. Yeah. It seems like you'll never get back up again. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. It seems uh -huh. like you'll stay down. It seems like uh, that you won't ever get back to the right place. Has anybody ever been there before? Yes. Has right. anybody been in a situation that you thought you would never come out of this morning? Uh -huh. Uh, you right, thought, surely, right. that this is the end of me. Yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. this is the end of me. Surely, I will never get back from this. Yeah. Uh, but I came, hallelujah, excited to, uh, to announce that I pressed. Has anybody pressed forward in here today? Yeah. Have you had to push through, as somebody would say? Yeah. Had to push through, you know, uh, the pressures of life. Mm -hmm. The pressures, the pressures. And yes, he sang a song uh, with the sound of blackness many years ago, dating myself. He sang about the pressures, the pressures of this old evil world. The pressures, the pressures. Of, I know the pressures of life. The pressures that seems like everywhere you turn. Yeah. I can't hear nobody in here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> seems like everywhere you turn. There's some type of pressure, am I right about it, church? Yeah. Yeah. This whole nation right now is under pressure. Yeah. Pressure of choosing yeah. our next president mm -hmm. while being bombarded with sound bites uh -huh, and news clips and social media clips here and there and everywhere. And they only tell part of the story and part of the truth and then yeah. the lie. Yeah. Ah, but Grandmama said the half has never been told. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Pressure, yeah. pressure, pressure of life. Um, uh, the pressure of uh, a family, family that won't or can't accept the choices that you made in your life. Uh -huh. yeah. 
They take issues with you living your authentic truth and being who God said you are. Yes, yeah. yes, I can't hear nobody yes, in here. Yes. Mm. Uh, so they systematically try to shade you. Like, come on. You're going to be real wrong this morning. Right. Uh, they try to shade right. you and negate you and shun you and yes. to ignore you and to uh, disinclude you. That's my word. I made ah. it up. Uh, and they try to do that until they ultimately push you out of the picture, literally and figuratively. Mm -hmm. uh, that can bring pressure on you. Mm -hmm. You can't hear nobody in here. Trust right. me, I know how it feels. I experienced it. I experienced it. The pressures. Somebody say pressure. Pressure. Pressures pressure of life. The pressures of professional disappointments. Yes, Hello, somebody. Right. Uh, the pressures of professional disappointments. Uh, expecting a job or the promotion. Putting in your time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Making sure that all your ducks are in a row. Yes. Yeah. Making yes. sure you show up all the time. Yes. Making sure that you on time. Uh, Making sure you get your work done. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Nobody. Yeah. You checked in and you there when you're supposed to be. Uh -huh. You got your resume together. Come yeah. on. You made sure that you yeah. look good yeah. on yeah. paper and in person. Yeah. Only to be denied. My yeah. God. Yeah. By the very person who promised you, oh, I got you. My oh, God. I got you. I got you, boo. Just hold on. Just a, just a few preliminaries, but you can uh, you can get ready to move into your new office. Come on, come on. I got you. I get. I got you. And uh, then they turn around and, uh, and they say, oh, we gave it to another person. Uh, anybody had that happen to you in your life or, or something similar to that, where you were promised one thing, but when the rubber met the road, uh, you took. Uh, it was time to take the position, uh, and then they said no. Mm, pressure. Yeah. No, pressure. Pressure of life. Yeah. Now, the pressure is even building uh, even the more. Mm -hmm. How will you pay your bills? Yes, How will you eat? Uh, what about my church? Mm -hmm. What about this? The pressures. The pressure. Somebody say pressure. Pressure. Yeah, the pressure oh, of the relationship. Yes. Oh, oh my. The pressure of giving it your all yeah, and all. You hear nobody tear. You gave it your all. Yeah, the right. pressure of you smiling. smiling. And thinking all is well. Yes. Yes. And that they're into you as much as you're into them. You uh -huh. know. Uh -huh. You really feeling them, but the pressure of the questions, pressure, the pressure of the question is, are they really feeling me too? Uh -huh. Pressure of maintaining the responsibility mm -hmm. of communication, which is the most basic need in a relationship. Yeah. I'm gonna deal with that a little later. Oh. And being honest and true yeah. with your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your boo thing or bae or whatever you call it. Uh, the pressure of knowing you've done all you're supposed to do. You've been faithful. You haven't been a thought. And you're Ooh, being consistent. So you're not so wishing right. So and all over yeah. the place. Oh, you're being God. transparent. Yes. Uh, and oh. you're not being evasive. Yes. And you're not being enigmatic. Oh. And you're not being elusive. Come the on, pressure. Man. The pressure that ensues. Yes. Once the, the person... That you're giving yourself to besides, oh, this ain't what I want. Mm. Oh. Y'all ever had that happen to you? Y'all ah. ever had that happen to you? Yeah, this ain't what I want. Once the person you're giving yourself to decides, oh, I can't handle this, or their infidelity is exposed for all the world to see, oh, uh, and they have the gall and the guts and the gumption and the intestinal fortitude and the backbone and uh, the unmitigated gall to drop you like a bad habit and act as if nothing happened. Pressure. Uh -huh. Pressure. Somebody say pressure. Pressure. Oh, yeah, let me tell you, you don't know that will put you under pressure. Yeah. Uh, and here in church. Uh, uh, that will just about put you in a pressure cooker. Uh, so here, yeah, here. Yeah, uh, yeah. It happened to me. Not last year. Uh, not uh, two years ago. It did happen two years ago. But it happened just this week. And I had a moment of pressure. Yeah. I had a moment of depression under pressure. Uh, yeah, then you pay uh, one bill uh, or one traffic ticket. Can I be transparent this morning? Oh, uh, tra one traffic ticket uh, for a wrongly accused U-turn mm -hmm. uh, to only turn around a day later and get another ticket. Oh, uh, well, just trying to do your job. Mm. Pressure. Pressure, pressure. Wow. Nonetheless, all of this is piled up on you at one time in one week. It can be pressure. Um, in the top, everything off. Prince went up and died. <laughs> Just up and down. I can't hear y'all. I can't hear y'all. On top of all of that, Prince went down. 
<laughs> I was like, uh, okay, come on, God, really? 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 Is that what we're doing this week? Yeah. Yeah. And then we come to church today, we don't have no sound system, and, and then the monitors ain't working, mm -hmm. and, and this is going on, and that's going on, and we got to dig in this fighting us about it. You know, but God is still praised and still <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, uh, Pastor Pierre uh, let me know just as a general conversation, if I ever needed him to do anything, to usher, to sing, uh, to preach, he was there for me. And you know what? I almost felt like telling him, you know what? Come and run my church this weekend. Mm -hmm. Because I can't. I, this is too much pressure. I've been under pressure. I got a phone call from the community center about this and about that. And then we got this going on with the sound system. And we got that going on. And I got this going on. Pressure. Somebody say pressure. 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 Yeah. And so, uh, but I couldn't do that. I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. uh, because I had to realize that God is intentional about the things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 I don't always understand oh, the intent. All right. But God is intentional oh, about yeah. that. Yes. Yes. That we deal with the pressure of questioning why. Yeah. Why me? Yeah. Why do I keep going through this? Why, 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 why? Even in the big ugly cry and the moments of just crying at the thought of the thing that happened or the situation that you're in, I was asking God, why, 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 why me? I try to do what I'm supposed to do. I'm open and I'm honest. I try to be there for the people of God. I try to be there uh, for my family. I try to do this. Why, God? Why is this happening to me? Uh, even in the big ugly things, why is this happening to me? And the first thing God said is, why not? Why not? Ah, why not? Why not you? Why not you? Jesus follower, why not you? Disciple of Christ, why not you? Faith walker, why not you? Mr. or Mrs. Head and not the tail, why not you? Mr. or Mrs. I'm the lender, not the borrower, why not you? Mr. or Mrs. I'm a king's kid. Somebody say, why not you? Scripture teaches us in Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom, for whom the Lord loves, he chastens and scourges uh, every son whom he receives. Mm -hmm. And that's the New King James Version. But I like how the Amplified Version put it. Because it says, for the Lord corrects and disciplines. Yeah. 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 Yes, he does. We don't like that word, discipline. Like yeah. Oh. The Lord corrects and disciplines everyone whom he loves. Remember last week I told us... Uh, uh, that God is trying to develop character in us. Remember I said that to y'all? Yeah. And I'll just be John Brown if he didn't allow me to be used as an example this week. Mm. Uh, let, me, let me say this. Let me just say, I, I just barely passed the test. Mm. Let me tell you why I just barely passed the test. Not because I cried about the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a follower of Christ. You're not, uh, you're not God. Remember that. Jesus wept. So right. it's not, you don't fail the test because you cry about the situation right. or the right. circumstance. It doesn't make you weak. It doesn't, it just makes you human. It, do, it, it doesn't mean that you fail completely. It just means that you're human. And, and you don't fail the test for crying. We fail when we start to try to be God. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. We fail when we try to be God and make things go our way. Right. Or when we act out of character, the character that he's already developed in us. Exactly. Come on, stay with me, people of God. Exactly. That's when we fail the test. Right. Right. We fail the test when we try to be God. But you can't be a wimp. You can't be a wimp. You can't be a wimp. Uh, we have to understand God is not trying to kill us with a thing or situation or a string of situations. Most times, God's trying to discipline you. God's trying to develop you. God wants you to prosper and go to the next level. And I said it to you a minute ago. You can't be a wimp. You can't be a wimp on the next level because the devil will whip you up behind all the way back to level one. Hallelujah. You talk about you want to get back on level five and you can't even have no level one. Oh, ah, yeah, you say you want all these blessings and you want these positions and you want these new levels of spirituality yeah. and anointing. Yeah. Then the question is, it's not why God, but why not me? Yeah. yeah. Somebody say, why not me? Why, why not me? me? The very next thing God reminded me this week. The very next thing God reminded me this week is what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Right. I want you to Facebook and tweet these things. The first thing is, why not you? Mm -hmm. The second thing is. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And that's going to come from 2 Corinthians 4, 8, 9. Mm -hmm. We all know the scripture. It says, we are hard-pressed yes, on every side. Yes. 
yet not crushed. Mm -hmm. We are perplexed. Uh -huh. Anybody been perplexed in time? Yeah. Uh, but not in despair. Persecuted, Persecuted. but not forsaken. Uh, Shut oh, down. Yes, but you were not destroyed. Yes. Just the mere fact you're sitting here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some stuff should have destroyed us. Mm -hmm. It should have destroyed our, our reputation. Mm -hmm. God covered us. Yes. I can't hear nobody. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I know sometimes yeah. it felt like the situation was going to take you out. I know this week, uh, it felt like, uh, this week for me, it felt like I was just empty, like uh, I was used up and thin, and I just felt like vapor. And, and I know that sometimes we can feel that way because of the things, the pressure, somebody say pressure, because pressure. of the pressure that we're under. It oh, makes you feel like I don't have any more to give. Oh. I don't want to be bothered with the church folk. I'm sick oh, and tired, yeah. I'm sick and tired, oh, being sick and tired of church. Oh, yeah, 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 pressure, pressure, pressure. 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 Oh, yeah. So God reminded me what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It makes you stronger. It's like I just wanted to wave bye-bye. And I came this morning, this afternoon to encourage you. You are actually built for this thing. Wow. Somebody write that down. Say you're built for this. You are built for this. So don't throw in the towel and wave bye-bye. Say I'm built for this. I need you to say it like you mean it. I'm built for this. I'm built for this. I need to hear you say it again. I'm built for this. I'm built for this. I'm trying to help you say, I'm built for this. I'm built for Whatever this. your this is, yes, you've been built for it. Yes, yes, I came yes, this morning yes, with yes. God's message. want to remind you that you are built for this. Uh, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians, it says, There hath no temptation, temptation taking you but such as common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able yeah. You're able, yeah. above that you're able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape for you yeah. uh, that you may be able to bear it. Let me just put it in the King James, the New King James Version. It says, no temptation has overtaken you except such as common to man, but God is faithful. Yeah. That's the first thing. God is faithful, yeah. who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able to bear. But with temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. It says it twice in the scripture that you're going to be able to bear it. Uh -huh. My mom used to say it all the time. He won't put more on you than you can bear. Yeah, that's right. Somebody said it again. You're built for this. You're, you're, built, built, for this. you're built for this. You're built for this. Oh, yes, you are. You're built for this. Things happen to you uh, that would have taken other folks out. I can't hear nobody in here. Uh -huh. Things happen to you that would have made some folks blow their brains out. Too. Mm -hmm. Things that happen to you that have caused folks to turn the drugs or alcohol. Things that happen to you that other folks have completely lost their marbles, but look at you looking like you looking today. Somebody ought to clap your hands and give God a good praise. Because you're built for this. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're built for this. You're built for this. You're built for this. Uh, I had to keep telling myself that. You're built for this. Uh, come on, man. Pull it together. You're built for this. This is child's play, literally and figuratively. In one situation, it was child's play, but you're built for this. Uh, that was the third thing that God spoke to my heart, just simply that you were built for this. And then the last thing he spoke, and I'm about finished, y'all. The last thing he spoke to me, uh, it was the most significant thing, and it is actually the title of this message. I expected something else. I expected God to say something like, I love you with an everlasting love. Oh, come thy weary one, lie down. Thy head upon my breast. Come to the water of life and drink. Ah, well, I thought he was going to say, the Lord is my shepherd. I should not want to. He made me to lie down in green pastures. He leaves me beside the still water. You know, the nice stuff. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness. For his name say, yay, though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Uh, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Uh, you anoint my head with oil, so you're nice and sweet. Uh, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell on the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever, and I'm just going to be at peace. And I thought that's what God was going to give me. I thought that's what he was going to say to me. Uh, but God said, no. God said, get in the press. Uh, oh, that's good. That's good. God said, "Get in the press." So the title of the message is "Get in the press." Hallelujah. Get in the press. Somebody shout, "Get in the press." God said, "Lean into the wave. The wave of pressures, uh, and learn something from it. Learn something about who you are, and then learn something about who I am." God said, "Lean in." God said, get in the press yeah. and embrace these moments. Yeah. I wanted to scream and fall out. Uh, and I did just a little bit of that. And then when I got done, God said it again. Get in the press. Yeah. Uh, and I began yeah. to lean 
into the press and I learned some things. I learned that sometimes we as Christians, as believers, sometimes we have uh, too much of God not to backslide and completely give up. Mm. But we don't have enough of God to trust in God and press on. Yes. Yeah. Wow. We got yeah. enough of him so that we don't go back and backslide mm. and totally stop trusting him. But we don't have enough to get in the press and the pressures of life. Yeah. We still fall out in faith and we get stuck somewhere in the in-between. We can't move forward. We get stuck in the proverbial, I'm going through <laughs> state of mind. Mm. And you know what? I thought about that thing. I thank God that he has given me the tenacity, the guts, and the gumption, and the intestinal fortitude to go through. Uh -huh. Not to get stuck in a state right. of despair right. and right. discouragement right. for the rest of my days. Right. Right. I can't hear nobody here. Right. Let me tell you something. Pressing is not something that anyone else can do for you. It's something that you got to do for yourself. Yeah. You can hear great testimonies of how people dealt with their difficulties. We can sit back and listen to great prosperous churches and hear how they would talk about how they pressed through the lean years. Years and the years when it was just about five of them in a little storefront church and they didn't have nothing but a kerosene heater and they look at them now they got oh they got several campuses of church in here and a church in that state and look at them now we can listen to all of that uh -huh. but that will be nothing for you if you don't get in the press somebody say right. get in the press get in the press get in the press get in the press that encourages us but when the rubber meets the road you have to dig deep within your own spirit and grab hold to the hand of God huh, and say the devil is yeah. I will not quit. Yeah. Yeah. I will not give up. Yeah. I will not throw in the towel. Yeah. I know who God is. Yes, I know what God can do. Yeah. I, I will be all that God wants God me to be. Yeah. I will do all that God has called me to do. Yeah. I will have all that God wants me to have. Yeah. I, I will go where God wants me to go. I, I will say yes and I will get in the press. Somebody shout, get in the press. Get in the press. In the press. That's why it behooves us to not just be religious. Oh. You will never have the victory. Yeah. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. Hear me, people of God. Uh, many places that you all know about that we've been to, they're very religious. Very you religious. never, ever have the victory yeah. over situations and the enemy if you are just religious. Wow. Got good religion, oh. certainly, Lord. Oh, yeah. Got good religion, certainly, Lord. Yeah. Got good religion, certainly, Lord. And over and oh, over yeah. again until you decide that I'm gonna get relationship yeah, and not religion. Oh, exactly. Get nobody. Right. It means uh, that you have to grow up in God. Grow up. Somebody shout, grow up. Grow, grow up. up. Means that you have to develop a mature relationship. Yeah. Not that now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take God bless. Boo boo and name and hey. Ah. Um, in Jesus' name, Amen. amen. My Is that all you have? Is that all? You have? That's religious. Yeah. We learned that from the childhood. Yes. That's religious. Yes. You can't really press in when it's time to press in. See, you, it's all right to pray and all that, but are you really pressing when you pray? Right. Wow. Yeah. Are you getting down there and praying for the same thing? Right. Oh, God, give me. Give me, give me, give me. Give me, 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 give me. Are you ever saying, you know what, God, bless so-and-so. God, do this for so-and-so. God, strengthen so-and-so. God, do this. God, heal such and such. God, I just thank you for what you already have done for me. I may not have everything that I want, but I got everything that I need. Have you ever, you know, grow up. Somebody say, grow up. Grow up. It means that you have to develop. You have to develop. You have to develop the maturity. Uh, that says I have a relationship with God I know God And God knows me I know the voice of God Because I talk to him daily Hallelujah. Yeah, right. That's a relationship right. I know God because I have a prayer life That's a relationship right. yeah. ah, see, Because maturity yes. Maturity is extremely, extremely oh, important yeah. uh, Joyce Meyer says it like this When God saves you It puts a smile on your face <laughs> But when you grow up You put a smile on God's face oh. I can't hear nobody yeah. Yeah. See, we are happy when we get saved, but God wants to see what you're going to do after that. Right. Are you just going to get saved, get baptized, 
rise and then that's it. You never grow. You never know how to do anything in the church. You never know how to speak. You never, and I don't want to say learn how to speak in tongues, but you never feel with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues or the evidence, and not just speaking in, you know, the, the unknown tongues, the heavenly tongues, but speaking in a Christian language uh, that encourages people to come to Christ. Right, right, yes, we, right, get, right, we get stuck. Right. Oh, that's a right. Right. Oh, that's right. We get stuck when we talk about speaking in tongues. We get stuck on, it means the da 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 no, but can you speak the language of this generation? Right. Because we can't speak the thee and the thou knowest, O God, whereas thou shall go to this generation and think that we're going to encourage them to come to Christ. Exactly. They're going to look at you like you a fool. Right. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Right. Somebody say grow up. Grow you up. You got to grow up. You got to grow up. When you start to grow up, you start to speak differently. <laughs> you start to walk differently. You start to look differently. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. Right, right, I did right. childish things. Right. But now I am growing up. Somebody say grow up. Grow up. up. So to press means that you've grown up. To lean into the press, to get into the press, means that you've grown up. To smile in the face of uncertain situations and say, for God I will live and for God I will die is maturity. You're in the press. Somebody say, get in the press. Get in the press. I go up to the little Bible on you. Uh, the Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace. This is old school. Uh, the Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace, uh, they uh, were faced with a press. They could have chose to do what the king wanted them to do, but they chose God instead. They got in the press. They get in the press. Get in the press. And they came out of that fiery furnace. And you know what? They came, like the Bible says, they came out and they didn't even smell like smoke. Right. Oh, I can't hear nobody in here. See, when you begin to lean into the press, uh, God can get something out of you. You won't even look like or smell like what you've been through. I can't hear you again. Yeah, they lean into the press. Uh, yeah, yeah. They they said, you know, it had, it had to be through the fire to the limit and to the wire, lean into the press. Uh, then we think about Daniel in the lion's den. You got it, Ron. Uh, everybody in that old guess. Uh, yeah, Daniel in the lion's den could have gave up and gave in, but he stayed in the press and God delivered him. Uh, well, let's talk about Jesus, uh -huh. the son of the living God, savior of the world. He was in a press. He could have said, I ain't going to do it. To, you know, do it for the vine. I ain't going to do it. Jesus could have said, I ain't going to do it. And came down off of the cross and called down fire and angels from heaven. But he stayed in the press. Yeah. And because he stayed oh. in the press, we have life. I can't hear nobody yeah. here. Yeah. And we have it more abundantly. But he got in the press. I said earlier about going through. Sometimes we get discouraged about going through. And see, the key thing is that you're going through. Right. Oh, yeah. Truly, yeah. truly, yeah. God. Yes, yeah, somebody ought to thank God oh, that you're going through. Yeah, yeah, that you're not yeah. just stuck in whatever you're in. Yeah, yeah. That you're going through. Yeah, it's yeah. all right to yeah. go through. Yeah. yeah, I'm going through. All right, but after this, there will be glory. Yeah. Somebody, shout glory. Yeah. somebody shout glory. glory. Somebody shout glory. Shout glory. glory. Yeah, I might be going through. Yep, I need the press. Yep, I'm going through a situation. Yep, I got this going on. Yep, I got that going on. Yep, my heart was broken into a thousand pieces. Ah, but I'm going through. And you know what? I'm going to come out bigger. Hallelujah. I'm going to come out better. I'm going to come out brighter. I'm going to come out stronger. I'm going to come out wiser. I say yes. I said bigger. Better. Yeah. 
into a billion pieces. And you wanted to light them on fire, Maurice, and run them over with your car. But you can't do it because you're in the press. You got to pray for them and get in the press. You got to get in the press. Somebody shall get in the press. Get in the press. Yeah, you should be further along in your life. You should definitely have more. But you got to get in the press. Yes, you deserve so much more. Somebody say, get in the press. Stop running away. Face your fears and get in the press. Say, get in the press. Stop trying to figure it out. God's already worked it out. Get in the press. You just get in the press. I know the family disown you and treat you like dirt. But press on. Somebody say, press on. I know you're tired. But press on. I know you're weak. But press on. I know you feel empty. But press on. I know that sometimes you're tired of church and church people. But press on. I know you get tired of those people. Tell us to drive in the snow back home. 
And if you start to slide, you didn't turn away from it, you turn into, into it. it. Yes. You turn into that slide. Mm -hmm. And that'll stop you. Get in the press. Get in the press. I learned that this week. Get in the press. Embrace it. Yeah, it happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things went down like they went down. Yeah. But you got to get in the press and learn who you are and learn who God is. Mm -hmm. Learn who God is in you. That's yeah. right. He's made you so much stronger than what you really thought you were. Right. Yeah. Stuff you thought was gonna take you out, kill you. Yeah. Right. All right. They trust trust me. Yeah. Uh, think about some of it. Trust me. Some yeah. of us have been on the verge of being homeless or homeless mm -hmm. at some point in our life. Mm -hmm. And God made a way. Yeah. Time and time again, He makes a way out of no way. Get in the press. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. <laughs> Father, God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the presses of life. The pressures of life. It seems like an odd thing to say thank you for pressure. But we realize and understand that you're just trying to get the best out of us yes. when you allow these things to happen. When we have Job experiences, when everything goes wrong at the same time, at the same week, at the same day, you're just trying to develop us. And we thank you that even as a church, hallelujah, we're in a stage of being in a press. You're trying to develop us. You're trying to grow us. And I think you're trying to grow us quickly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So we embrace it. Yes, we embrace the press. Yes, because we know that you don't put more on us than we can actually bear. We know that we're actually built for this. That we're anointed to go through. And really go through. Thank you for blowing us up and maturing us beyond just salvation and water baptism. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord, for expanding our minds. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for making us bigger and better and stronger and brighter and wiser. Thank you, Lord. I pray for those that are watching today that need to get in the press. I pray in the name of Jesus that your Holy Spirit would now go where they are and encourage them to get into the press. If it's the press of trying to go back to school, if it's the press of going to get a job, if it's the press of going back to a loved one and, and getting things right, a co-worker, a friend, whatever it is, I pray that you would give them the strength and the guts and the gumption and the intestinal fortitude and the backbone yes, to get in the press so that the good things can come out of us. Hallelujah. So the good things can come out of us. So that the oil can come out of us. Hallelujah. Out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. Yes. But it only happens if we get in the press. We thank you, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, each of you that joined us via streaming. We love you so much today. We honor God for you. We want to encourage you to go ahead and go online and give and so into this ministry. You've been blessed by the word of God. Hallelujah. We thank God for your life and your living. We thank God that as you sow and as you give and as you support this ministry, that God is increasing and multiplying you. In the name of Jesus, this week is going to be a great week for you. As you get in the grace, embrace the spirit and embrace the union of God.